Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abiola. Thank you so much to all our subscribers. We want to say thank you. We love you. God bless you. And um, if you are new to our YouTube channel and uh, you've not subscribed, please kindly do so. Please help your girl, help our channel to grow. And um, also click on the notification bell so as to get notified anytime we put on new video and then uh, if you have any styles you want us to have a tutorial on kindly uh, drop it in the comment section and then we will get gladly um, uh, honor your request today's tutorial will be on the making of this um, lovely dress and um, the concentration of this uh, tutorial will be on the scissors neckline and uh, trust me it's very simple you know when i say it's simple it's simple so let's get down to business okay guys so the next the first thing you need to do is to have your basic pattern and um per adventure you don't know how to um draft this um princess uh this armor princess um bodies I have done a detailed tutorial on this. I'll just drop the link on the description box below in the description box below so that um, we can flow along with the class. And um, so once you have this, you have to draft it on fold and open it up. Before you open it up, once you have your basic bodies on fold like this, you need your tracing way to trace it out so that you can have it on this other side and you open it up. And um, there's something I used to say that once you can draft a basic body perfectly, oh my god, you can do anything. A basic bodies make it um very easy for you to manipulate. Yes, you can manipulate and alter it to any style line of your choice. So once you have this, we want to alter this now to this scissors neckline. Can you see how lovely it is? So the first thing it's for you to choose which side you want it to be and um and uh, which side is more convenient for you so the first step now in altering this to a scissors neckline the first step is uh, you have to make a connection from this neck which please please ignore this let me tell us what i did i did four by four and i found out that um you know, I'm still going to alter. I forgot I'm still going to alter. So, 4 by 4 is just two. The four depths, four inches. The depth of four inches will just be too, too, too low, considering the neckline we are about to illustrate. So, that's why I made it um, 4 by 3. So, 3 inches. The depth is 3 inches. So, that's why I just have to rule out this. So, like I said, the first thing you need to do is to connect this neck width. Connect it straight to this and more, yeah. So with the aid of your curve ruler. So in order to make it very easy, connecting it straight like this might be somehow. Can you see? Might be somehow, man, and then also might be too too high. So what you want to do is uh, like a guide. First, connect from this neck width to this center front here. Yeah? So it's very easy. Please, guys, first permit me to use my pencil force and let me see what I have. And I will now I light with my pen. So the next thing, can you see the way I'm turning my curve? I want this curve to continue. So I'll just turn it this way, sorry, this way, because I want the curve to continue to the arm hole like this. Okay guys, now let me highlight with my with another pen i want to trace it out the way i did with the pencil so as not to confuse anybody can 
you see like a guy that stopped at this my center front here then i want to continue we'll call yes i'm just trying to set it okay So, as you can see, we are done with the hopper parts. It's very, very simple. So now, the next thing for us to do, if you look at the picture very well, you will notice that, um, you know, this one is different from the common um, scissors neckline we do have. That one, you just connect itself from here, or you determine the neck weights. It the, 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 the shoulder width rather how wide or how small you want the shoulder to be and just do a straight like this can connect it straight to the chest line and then you know it will connect straight to this one that one is different but this other one this one you can see that there is an opening here at the center front here like um, to show some skin so what you want to do is at this center since we are we've chosen this side so at this center front here, you just go in. The amount you go in now depends on how revealing you want it to be. So you can do 1 inch or 1.5, but I think we should do 1.5. So now I want to connect. But before I connect, you can see that the, the, the shoulder width here So now if you if you want your own shoulder to be wider than this, you just connect from this neck from this shoulder tip here and connect it straight to here. But the picture we are trying to depict here, you can see that the shoulder is quite it's very small. So what you would do is to measure, it depends on um, how wide or how small you want the shoulder to be. But as for me, I will just use um three inches yes three inches is fine like i said it depends it's optional is it that you just make it as in maintain this shoulder width and just connect like this straight like this or you still make it smaller than these three inches it is optional so what you want to do is to connect can you see it and then uh, you can also if you don't want to make it straight you can also make it curvy it depends on what you want can you see let me just do it so that we can see you don't want it straight you can make it curvy something like this but as for me i want it straight i quickly want to highlight so that it can be visible for us wow so guys this is what we need That's why I use another pen so that we can see. Can you see? So the next thing for us to do now is to cut out. Okay, guys, before I cut out, I want to close my bust that's here. So for me to cut, uh, for me to close my that, I have to open up these darts. If you are used to our tutorial, you will know that you do this a lot. Yes, you have to close your post that. Get a masking tape, paper tape, you tape it down. Try to blend this. 
it is normal yes try to blend it like that i think still have to tip down so now i want to cut let me cut the sides first Okay guys, so as you can see, I have cut out, can you see the sides? So while transferring to fabric, you cut two pieces of this and two pieces of this or you can as well just cut out this side so that it will be for this other side. So what I want to do now is uh, let me cut out this other side so that uh, we can cross it and you will see how it is, then we now go to the back. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have um, traced out this one on another paper just to have the other side. You know I told us to cut two pieces, then the side two will be two pieces. So what you want to do is uh, you want to notch the center, you know the two, while joining, the two must meet at the center like this. So that's why I notched. Can you see? Then also for this other side. If you don't want it to be too wide like this, you know, we use 1.5. We don't want it to be too wide like this. You can reduce it to 1 inch or even 0 0.75. Yes. But um, uh, our clients like it like this. So it's fine like that. And um, what else? You can see the side, the two sides. So let me quickly show us the back. This is the back pattern you can uh, decide to leave it like this the normal back or you can do a c cut at the back and they also you know we alter the shoulder at the front so we also need to alter this other one too you know at the neck width we measure three inches so you need to do the same thing here too Okay, guys so for the back remember we alter the front neckline the front shoulder right there we came in by um the neck which is fine but on the shoulder here yeah, we measure three inches for the front so you have to repeat the same thing too for the back because the shoulder must align so what you want to do is um you connect what I'm trying to do here is a, a C cut, yes, at the back. Then you find a way of blending it into the arm hole, like this. Can you see? Let me let me use my pen so that um can be more visible okay guys and then the next thing is for us to cut out this is my side so I will cut the one underneath Like I said, if you don't know how to draft a basic bodice, I've done a detailed tutorial on a basic bodies, even on now. Uh, I'm open says that. Please, you need to search on our channel and um, 
watch so that so uh, you can uh, understand you know you don't just want to start repeating videos that we've done before so this what i'm cutting out is my back type name once you watch our video you understand everything so this zipper side you just had one inch for zipper yes so and then remember you are cutting two pieces for this so can you see the shoulder now that uh, it's aligning so let me just try and couple it back again that is why it is good to notch the center the center is just a guide for me so and this is the side then this other side then this is the back can you see then the other one the other pieces of the back will be here so let me give us tip for joining make sure you join the center front first yes before joining the side so that you don't have um issues with the clothes while sewing so guys we've come to the end of the tutorial please if my video has been helpful kindly gives me a thumbs up and down uh, please practice practice make perfect thank you like i said earlier on if you want if you have any style that you want us to do a tutorial on kindly uh, drop the style or notify us in the comment section and uh, we'll be glad to do so i love you all please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel help our channel to grow bye